My man's got a. Eh? You ask that. Does it sound like a fucking sentence yesterday? The place for you. Move it. I can't see the past my breath. Ouch. Watch it. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Show me what you got. Assist you. Need some armor. Some hair of the hand. Got any vodka? Ah! I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under! I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened to you? Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. 
as is my family's story. Sorry, but your life story, just not interested. This isn't a social call. I'm here on business. Will you at least tell me how Anna wound up in that blasted bog? She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare, sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones? Just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Landed right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth!
You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern when some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsons blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her.
scabies. Wreaking havoc is the peasant's coops now. Down sits in the old road. He raised tribute for him. Play he hopes to him. Why the hell we not bad? Quite the work my man's got, eh? Not half bad. <laughs> Brought him a bucket of peelings yesterday, the feast we had. Jew, I challenge you. Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Out, I say. I am Rondvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste. But I have 99 left after you. At your service. Let's get this over with. Yeah! You know, I yield. Had enough? 
Yes, luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. I saw you in Vizima.
Always like visiting Novigrad. Man truly feels alive here. Yes! The cows give sour the, 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 the cat sleeps with the rats, the pigs squeal the night. Got my eye on you. Careful, you scamp. This is no regret. Why are you wandering the streets, eh? Tempting decent men to be decent farmers. I must go to the world. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. You don't need to live like you! Help me, kind folk! Please! <laughs> Hasn't met the same fate. Oh, was he to leave ah. before she retired us? Holy, holy, from a sorcerer's scalp. Sorcerers, it's like a witch would. Hey, sod off. We're looting here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, looky. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Dive, move! <laughs> me! Leave him to me! Son of a... 
Sorceress who lived here. Most likely hiding in some rat trap with the rest of them. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it. It's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief and follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that. Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine. And the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you.
kisses. Never knew her to drop them on the floor. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Discretionary tribute to benefit Redania or exile? Any needs, Master? I'd buy tomorrow what you can buy today. Arms for the poor. You lame? No chance. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. There. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. In my mind, thorough adult. Been like this long? Adult? Since me mother birthed me. Here's where it's adult. There. Showing you with me finger. See that? Me indicating. Healthy as a horse, as far as I can tell. Priests of look, medics, herbalists. All claimed I'm bewildered. Well, they're wrong. Not as little either way. Folk are generous to me. They enjoy watching me point. Like this. There. There. You're happy. That's what counts. I am. When folk ask me the way, I like that most. Because I can point. Like this. There. Ah. Because I know my way around the city. Oh, do I ever. So you gotta know where the putrid grove is, right? I certainly do. It's where I live. Over the, uh, there! There! That way! That away? Meaning where? In nice halls. There's this alley, past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course! Unless he forgets to say, the old sow's farrowed piglets might not let you in then. But that's easy enough to say. Listen. The old sow's farrowed piglets. See? Thanks for your help. Oi, Grey Knight. Need a squire? Officer, 
making a rest for witch hunting. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill at me, please. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know him. Got to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Old sows, ferrowed piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. We made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the City Council? City Council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, Folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine, and me friends, but that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone, because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start a new. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. <laughs> 